the suspension of honorable Givau and honorable tower from parliamentary proceedings has generated a lot of controversy and has thrown many into an abysmal shock as to whether indeed parliament has the power or the mandate to suspend parliamentarians from parliamentary committees now critics have argued that parliamentarians should only be answerable to the general populace that elected them into parliament and not to parliament itself now to look into this issue we will look at the laws of Sierra Leone as to whether indeed parliament has the mandates supported by law to suspend parliamentarians or to exercise disciplinary actions against parliamentarians for actions and inactions done by parliamentarians now we'll start by looking at the adjudicative powers of parliament and secondly we'll look at the duties of parliament according to established laws in Sierra Leone thirdly we'll look at the disciplinary powers of parliament fourth we'll also look at the remedies um, when such powers are exercised by parliament for parliamentarians we'll also look at the recommendations we may prefer now according to section 94 of the 1991 constitution it is explicitly stated that parliament may regulate its own procedure and may in particular make amend and, and revoke standing orders for the orderly conduct of its own proceedings it further says that no decision of parliament or any of its committees or the speaker related to the rules of procedure of parliament or to the application or interpretation of such rules or any act done or purporting to have been done by parliament shall be inquired into by any court according to section 94 sub 2 of the 1991 constitution it added by saying parliament may for the purpose of the orderly and effective discharge of its business make provision for the powers privileges and immunities of its of parliament its committees and members thereof now it is explicit that parliament has the, the power to make laws to regulate the activities of parliamentarians now the next step is to look at the duties of MPs or parliamentarians now according to section 97 paragraph a and b one of the duties of parliamentarians is to maintain the dignity and image of parliament through the activities both in and out of parliament to desist to further desist from any conduct by which they seek improperly to enrich themselves or alienate themselves from the people now to the disciplinary powers of parliament any act or omission which obstructs or impedes parliament in the performance of its functions or which obstructs or impedes any member or officer thereof in the discharge of his duties or, or affronts the dignity of parliament or which tends either directly or indirectly to produce such a result shall be a contempt of court uh, sorry a, a contempt of parliament and as such parliament may exercise uh, punishment may level punishment uh, I would say against any such member who has for one reason or the other been in contempt of parliament's parliamentarian rules of procedure now we are an act or omission which constitutes contempt of parliament is an offense under the criminal law the exercise by parliament of the power to punish for contempt shall not be a bar to the institution of proceedings under the criminal law punishment for contempt of parliament should be now one of the recommendations is parliament for punishment for contempt of parliament should be explicitly provided for in the constitution in addition the rules of this weapon should be made clear in the standing orders of 2016. now with all this uh, it's 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 open for you to see whether parliament indeed has the power to suspend um, the two parliamentarians I mentioned earlier in parliamentary committees 
based on the, the lo everything I have stated above, it's also open to you to say no. It's uh, the electorate who has the power to do so. Thank you.